Okay, YouTube, um, we're going to do another Pink Floyd um, tune today. Another great song uh, off the Division Bell album uh, called High Hopes. I've seen uh, some uh, acoustic covers of this song, some real intricate ones that are uh, finger picking, but uh, this particular one has, it focuses mostly on chords. Uh, it does have some of the uh, key elements as far as the, uh, um, the intro. And I'll show you a little bit of how I play this sort of marching solo that's part of that, part of this song. But very simple song. The guitar is in standard tuning. Um, and I do have a capo on the third fret of this guitar, of this classical uh, Yamaha. Um, and I'm running a little bit of tre a tremolo on the, uh, through the effects box. And so I'm getting a little bit of the, uh, getting a little bit of that little tremolo effect. It sort of adds to this song. I play it finger pick. Uh, you could play it however you want. I think it's better finger picked, uh, especially if you're, when the solo, the end solo, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, um, let me go ahead and start, uh, and I'll, I'll try to uh, help you remember how this song, I think, is supposed to sound. song's supposed to sound. Uh, we'll go over each part and uh, we'll um, dissect the, uh, the individual pieces. The, um, <clears throat> the intro itself uh, follows a, a bell that's ringing. If you look at the video, there's a guy, uh, the drummer's playing a, uh, with a hammer the, uh, um, the bell and it's sort of bringing in the song, uh, establishing the beat. The guitar comes in, uh, or piano comes in rather, and plays this part. I play it, it's usually played in the upper register here because I got a capo here, and it's harder to reach on this guitar. <clears throat> I'm playing at a lower register. So what I'm doing is I'm covering the a G string and the D string with uh, at the second fret. So I'm starting there, and then sliding up to the fifth fret. And then dropping down to the D and the A string on the third fret. And that's really how they play this. Okay, then it jumps into the chorus, which is essentially, uh, because I'm using the capo, uh, this is in the right key as the music, but uh, it's, it starts on an A minor. Beyond the horizon, in a place we lived when we were young. So it's an A minor, and you're walking up to the C, and then to an F. So that's that's the uh, that's pretty much the verse. First verse has a couple of other chords in it, uh, sort of a little offshoot along the road.
and E. A minor, do they still meet you by the card? That's an E seventh. So let me play that. Second verse, there was a ragged band who followed in our footsteps. Okay, so relatively straightforward on the verses, uh, easy chords to play. Uh, obviously, picking is maybe a little challenge for some of you, but okay. All right, um, let's go into the chorus itself. Uh, this, this is, I think, a, a really beautiful chorus, uh, uh, very simple chords. Um, so let me play it and then, I'll, and then we'll talk about each chord. The grass was greener. Okay, the, uh, the chords are A minor to an E minor to an F to a G. The light was brighter, that's an A minor to a C to a D minor to an F. When friends surround. Okay, so pretty straightforward on the uh, um, on the chorus. Uh, the next part uh, after the chorus, it, it goes into another verse, and then the 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 the, the last half of the verse uh, it ends on this E seventh, as I mentioned before, and then. Um, it goes into a solo march. It's kind of a strange uh, little beat thing. Uh, I play it on the A string. It starts on the third fret. Uh, in the recording, uh, the guitar is sort of matching of the bass line, which kind of goes up. It's sort of this uh, marching beat that the drum plays, the bass plays, so it's it's a different tempo. So it's second fret, this is all on the A string, uh, to the uh, fifth fret, to the sixth fret, uh, to the tenth fret, to the eighth fret. And remember, this is all relative to the capo on this on this guitar right now, so just just be aware of that. Okay, so you just repeat that uh, that repeats a couple of times, uh, and then it jumps right back into the intro riff, which is essentially this again. And, and so the solo march occurs, and then the intro riff goes again. And then it'll go back into the verse again. There's a hunger still unsatisfied. Our weary eyes will stray to the horizon. Though this road has been down many times. The grass was greener.
using the same chords as we talked about, except it just keeps going on. It really plays it uh, sort of the, the this expanded chorus. Uh, uh, you're going through this expanded chorus twice. It's the same chords. Now you get into the the end solo. So you get this expanded chorus of playing that, just sort of uh, increasing tension. And then the solo comes. You're going to solo over those same chorus chords. And so let me do this. There was another guy on uh, YouTube who did a great, I think it was a great solo um, with this uh, with this song. Um, um, NF Tube, I, I don't know who it is. But anyway, um, I'm borrowing this uh, solo from him. I don't really do solos. But I wanted to just uh, play this as um, as I match the chords. So let's see how this works out. Um, we'll see how if I can follow it. But you can get the idea of the end solo. It's an extended end solo covering, and I'll call out the chords. Okay, um, so that's how the song ends, okay? It, it just ends and fades out uh, on those chords. So um, that's really how you play this song. Uh, it's a really beautiful song. I know there's more elaborate versions of it out there. I've seen some tab finger styles that are really outrageously uh, uh, interesting, um, but this is how I play it. A uh, little simplified with the capo on it. Um, again, if you have any questions about uh, the song, uh, uh, the tab, uh, how I play it, uh, just leave a comment or a question at my, at my YouTube channel. And uh, as always, have a great day. All right. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you later.